This is the black ink switch valve from an Epson Stylus Pro 3880. It's the same from a 3800 or a Sheer Color P800, and it's known for getting clogged and needing to, the entire ink supply system replaced. That would be this and the thing that holds all of your ink cartridges and all the tubes coming out of it and the little motors that activate this or actuate this switch. And, um, and some said that it couldn't be done, but I have managed it. All right, squeeze that for me. All right, no, you got to hold it. Hold pressure on it. That's one side. That's the other side. So it's been fixed. Right, so even though Epson considers that small part to be a service item that is supposed to be replaced every couple years, they force you to buy this giant part, this assembly, that's the ink delivery system, which includes like um, the enclosure that all the cartridges slot into, the things that read the chips and all of that, and the hoses that, and the dampers and the assembly that holds all that together. And um, I don't really believe that it was designed as a service item. I think that's just in response to a high failure rate. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, if you had one of their technicians install it, you know, with a service manual and everything, that would have cost a lot of extra money. Plus, they need an adjustment program, which is not freely available. And they would have purged your ink system or recharged your ink system, which wastes almost half your ink, when all you really have to do is keep switching between the two different blacks and um, it won't waste the rest of your ink. It does waste a little bit, but um, yeah, that's really all that needed to be done. And, uh, but you know, it's, <laughs> they benefit when you waste ink and have to buy more ink. They benefit when you have to buy a, a huge part like this and pay a technician with their service manuals and adjustment programs and uh, for that tiny little part. And I had intended to use like an ultrasonic cleaner with some um, syringes maybe and, um, ammonia, but I didn't even get that far. Just soaking in hot water and uh, working it a bit seemed to be all it took to clear it up. And uh, I was really hoping to see if that's the key, but it was easier than that. Than that, so I guess it's not really a bad thing. Um, so yeah, it's worth trying, even though I still suggest having a spare ready to go um, before you start working on it, just so that you know you don't have the whole system open and drying out and uh, at risk while you work on that part trying to get it unclogged.